Quiet Waters Farm and Craft. I'm going to be making some banana bread and also some chocolate banana bread. I have half the family that likes the banana bread and half the family let, that likes chocolate. So whenever I can make both, um, I try to get that done so that way I can make everybody happy with some delicious bread. So let's get to making it. Okay, we got our mixture set up. So first thing that we're going to add is our bananas and I have and I'm actually only going to use two bananas. They're all nice and ugly looking on the outside and going to make our bread taste all yummy. All right. So I'm just going to break this into some pieces here. And then we're going to get the other one out. Get it peeled. Oh yeah, we got some nice bruising going on here. My daughter likes to eat the ones that are dark like that. She said they're so much better than the ones that are light green turning into yellow. Okay, so to this we're going to add one cup of sugar. It's just white basic sugar. One egg, and I'm using a farm fresh egg. We're going to use a half a cup of brown sugar, and I have this packed in here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Okay, then we're going to add a fourth a cup of melted butter. I'm going to let this blend. I'm going to get a separate bowl because I want to put our flour in our baking soda and mix that first before I go and put it into this mixture. So we need one and a half cups of flour. And I'm not sifting it, I'm just pouring it right in the bowl. So one and a half cups of flour, and then to that we're going to add one teaspoon of baking soda. I put everything in my bowl and I'm just getting mixed up. Just where all my dry ingredients of the flour and the baking soda um, can get blended well together. It's what I do with my cookies and what I do with my I do it in a cake or with my breads. Okay, turn this up a little higher. pack it in there too fast because it could um, make it real dusty with all your flour going in there. So I just add it little by little just where plus I can check the consistency of what I'm doing. I'm going to turn this up to one more. Nope. I need to get a spatula. That way we can scrape the sides to where none of that powder or bananas gets mushed up on the side. Okay, I'm going to add the rest of the flour on the baking soda. Alright. Again, I'm going to just
a few more ingredients that we want to add to this. We're going to add one teaspoon of lemon juice. And then we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I'm pretty sure that's what's left in my bottle, so that's what I'm going to pour right in there. Alright, now we just got to get this mixed up. Check everything, make sure everything is mixed up so nothing. On our sides, and everything looks pretty good. Alright, you can turn this off. Now I'm going to do half the batter in regular banana bread, and I'm going to do the other half in a chocolate chip banana bread. Uh, I love the chocolate chip. I mean, what girl doesn't like chocolate? Um, but my husband and my son, they like the regular banana bread. So, um, let me move this back a little bit here. Move all my measuring stuff, because we're done with all of that. Okay. Now I got this pan here. It's a quad pan. And I have never used it. Um, and go figure, I got it at Goodwill on half price day, so I only paid $1.50 for it, so I was really excited. Um, it's coated, but I'm still going to put some stuff in here, so I'm going to spray it with my Pam, or Westcott canola oil is what I got. Put a little bit of spray in here. Okay. All right. Lift it up and get our little guys out of here. Wipe those off here in a minute. Oopsie, just got it all in there. Okay, so let's hope that we can fill each of them equally. Quick little stir here. All right. Here's one. We might not get four, but we'll try our best. We have to dip a little out into another one. Who knows? Mm, it smells so good. I love banana bread. I would say if I had to choose between zucchini bread, which we make a lot of, and mainly I make it in the winter time just so the kids are, you know, they don't eat a whole lot in the winter time, and, but when I make breads, they eat it all, so, um, I think we're going to have enough for each one. That's so cool. Like I said, I haven't got to use this pan yet because I just got it not too long ago at Goodwill and I wanted to give it a try. Alright, we got a little bit more good stuff in here that we need to get out of the pan. Put it in this last one here. Put that in this one. All right, get my towel, get all this off my hands. Okay, so like I said before, I'm making two of them that are regular and two of them that are gonna be chocolate chip. And I'm basically just taking milk chocolate baking chips. You can get any brand you want. I get the side brand. Um, sorry, Nestle, this is a dollar to two dollars cheaper. So I'm just gonna sprinkle my chocolate chips right on the top. Now if you want to add nuts in there you, you're more than welcome to. My family's not a big nut eater so uh, we keep it out. <laughs> you, know, you can do um, cranberries or 
Uh, I've seen where people have put blueberries or blackberries in it. I haven't tried that yet. Um, but we like it with the chocolate chips. I think that tastes really, really good. All right. I did not preheat my oven, so I'm going to preheat my oven real quick. And that's going to be at 325. So I'm going to let my oven get preheated. I'm going to get this in there at 325 and I'm going to let it bake for one hour. After that, I'll bring it back and show you what these beautiful breads will look like. Well, I took them out of the oven about 10 minutes early um, and checked them with the toothpick. So since these are in smaller pans, it probably didn't take as long as if it were in an actual bread pan. So we'll pop one out here. Oh, that's hot. And it's cooked all the way through. I cannot wait to eat these. The chocolate chips turned out great. Um, I will put all the ingredients in the description box below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, well, please do subscribe to my channel. I hope you all have a blessed day, and thanks for watching.